What is up, my good people? And we are back again with some more Earthbound Beginnings. I am totally not recording this late Sunday night right before this episode is about to air. Totally not. Uh, just trust me on that. In the last episode, we... Let's see here. Nope, not that one. Uh, what was the button again? That one. There we go. In the last episode, we managed to get all the way to Snowman from Marisol. We actually went there walking. Whoops. But... We picked up a new uninvited guest, Anna of Snowman, as they call her. And you may uh, realize that I'm back here in Reindeer, and there's a reason for that. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to say that during my free time, I upgraded Anna. And now, as you can see, she has the boomerang, magic coin, gold, um, gold ring, and HO pendant. The same thing that I basically gave everyone just because, well, Magic Hand has a lot of good things and, well, I'm not going to give Anna some shitty frying pan or whatnot. I think the boomerang is worth, worth better for her. And also, I, god damn it, oh, which is the button? This one. Anna has actually gained a lot of PSI powers as I was leveling her up. Like, a lot. <laughs> quite a lot so hopefully she'll be much more useful to us than Lloyd is no offense to any Lloyd stands out there but my man's kind of he's kind of lacking not gonna lie another thing that I also did on my free time was um, when I was farming back in magic Hat, I kind of was just like, you know what, this might be taking a little bit more time than I, than I anticipated. So I'm going to just farm up north through Union Station. And I ended up walking all the way to Youngtown to give you an idea. I even managed to reach Youngtown Station, which editor, uh, can we please get some edits, obviously, to show where I am on the map. Yes, I managed to get all the way to Youngtown Station and visited the city of Youngtown. I don't remember exactly what I did. Let's see here. Oh, it was probably Lloyd. Uh, da -da 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 -da, where's Lloyd? Yes, uh, in Youngtown I actually got something better for Lloyd. Instead of the boomerang, he, he now has an air gun. So hopefully Lloyd should be doing some better offense, but it's... The difference is pretty marginal at best. But yeah, I've just kind of been everywhere around the map. I haven't visited Spokane yet, so I kind of want to visit that as well. And even though I managed to get all the way to Youngtown, I did not go to LA, unfortunately. But we are back here in Reindeer because I don't know, really. Or something that I have to do here so uh, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of winging this you know because like I wasn't given directions or anything like that I just kind of got on a from snowman and then she was like well I gotta go to Youngtown to find mom but oh shit maybe I should have actually stayed in Youngtown whatever I'm here in reindeer Besides, I got uh, 1k on my pockets right now in the event that I actually do need to go to Youngtown. Because, not gonna lie, remember how I said I'm not recording late at night? Well, I'm still not recording late at night, but I don't want to spend all my time walking all the way from Reindeer to Youngtown. Like, I've done it before, don't get me wrong, I can do it again, but I'd really rather not. So, I'd rather take the train, despite how expensive it is. Actually, now that I'm thinking about... Now that I'm thinking about it, I think the... I think the track is broken on Union Station. God damn it! So, I would need to go to Union Station to begin with. Fuck! Oh, God. Well, let's see what we have in store for us. As much as I really would like to talk with the people of... Reindeer, I kind of don't. Mostly because when I talked with the people from Marysville, they really didn't give me 
He really didn't give me any any useful tips or whatnot. When I talked with the people at Magic Hand, they didn't really give me any useful tips either. So I really do not want to waste my time, and I cannot be bothered to talk with the people over here. No offense to people, but I'm sorry. Some of y'all just talk way too much, let alone not give any useful information. So, not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've been back here on the recording booth, and uh, school has been kicking my ass, like I said before. Um, a lot of essays, a lot of projects, not enough time, not enough time. Well, I feel like it, it is. There is enough time, it's just that how I spend it could probably be better. Could definitely be better. It's just that um, I obviously want to. What the hell is this? Hey, what's good, G? Hell no! Damn, I'm trying to scam me. So what the fuck? What the fuck is happening with Anna? Um, where am I anyways? Okay. Anyways, as I was mentioning before, um, I'm not the greatest with my time management. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not the greatest with my time management. I don't know. I just end up doing a lot of other shit that isn't my work and by the time I have to do my work I'm just like oh shit I don't got time and of course I want to use my free time to make videos to make content for y'all I actually like doing that I like doing this a lot more than I do actual schoolwork if you can't tell hence why again I'm not doing this late at night but hence why I don't want to try to give you guys another week without content. Because, hey, would you look at that? I advanced to the next level. Yeah, like, it doesn't feel right for me. It doesn't feel right for the algorithm either. It's a lot more better for me to upload consistently than to upload now and then. But mostly because, like, I do like, to, I do like doing this. Don't get me wrong. I don't know. This was this is one of the few hobbies that I really like enjoying. Uh, that I really like to enjoy. Or fuck English. This is one of the few hobbies that I enjoy doing. I've done a lot of things before in my in my past. In the past, some of them I liked. Some of them I didn't. Didn't. This one I definitely do like. If you couldn't tell already by the fact that I always try to upload consistently. And by the fact that I already have a podcast, which by the way, if you haven't listened to the second episode, go ahead and listen to it right now. My point is, is that I put in a lot of work. I put in a lot of effort into what I'm doing right now, particularly in the YouTube space and whatnot. And I would like to try and get better, especially with like editing and whatnot. Also, I went around in a fucking circle. Fuck me. Yeah, um, I, I just like doing this. I don't know how it was for me to tell you. And I actually have talked about this with some people before, but like, I don't know. College just doesn't feel right for me right now. I'm not saying that I want you to drop out or anything like that. Hell no. It's just that I haven't gotten into the swing of things. I don't know. Just something feels off. Not right now. I not not right now while I'm recording, but I don't know. Something just feels off about college, and I would not be able to tell you what it is. Oh, would you look at that? Damn, I really want to know what that sign says. Oh, come on, dickhead. Damn, I really want to know what that sign says. There has to be a way down from here. Alright, I am making it mandatory for me 
to find out what the hell that sign says. To the people who have been consistently watching me, first off, I would like to say that you guys are fucking amazing, honestly. And also, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way I can cross this mountain. But yeah, to those guys who support me and who just watch my videos, like, it, mean, it means a lot to me. Even though I barely get any views or whatnot, uh, for the time being, like, it really, it really doesn't mean a lot to me. So, I, I don't want to sound needy or whatnot, but, you know, always leave a like, always leave a comment. I look at every comment you guys put in, and I try to, I try to reply back with whatever comes to my mind. But, yeah, you know, if, if there's something you, if there's something you want me to do differently, like, for example, if you want me to raise my mic again, or if you want me to lower the volume just say something if you think if you think I'm doing too many cutaways if you think I'm talking for too long you know, just tell me why not like I I like the videos that I put out for the time being but I know I could do better of course I don't know if my software can do better but I know I myself can do better yeah I feel like I feel like I don't say that enough times, but thanks for watching, you know? I should also say this, but, um, you know, like if you can share it with other people, please share it. You know, it would be nice to get those views up. It would be nice to see more likes, more comments and whatnot. I'm not asking you to, like, fucking advertise all over the place, put it like a giant billboard or whatnot use crypto or whatnot no i'm just saying if you have the time and, and if you care to support me a bit more you know share the video which kind of leads me on to my next point um i'm surprised that the podcast has been doing as well as it has been i was originally anticipating maybe 30 views max 50 like if it's like absolutely generous but the fact that the first episode already has over 140 views the last time I checked is just oh my god <laughs> you gotta talk clear buddy I can't understand a word the old man says either Jeez, thanks. And the fact that you're all glitching and shit does not make does not make things any more easier on me. Anyways, I gotta go find that sign. What the hell it says? Um, but yeah, the fact that the podcast has already gotten over a hundred forty views, like, thanks, thanks a lot. Um. And I don't mean it in the sarcastic kind of way. I mean, like, genuine. Like, thank you for listening. I Like I said before, I didn't think we would get that many views. I still wanted to do it nonetheless, just because it is a platform where me and my friends can talk sometimes about our based opinions. But for most of the time, it's just for, like, for us to, like, catch up with each other and just talk about what's on our mind. And the fact that, again, over 100 of you guys listen to us listen to us rant about our bullshit and whatnot it's it's paralyzing to say the least i know there may be some people out there who don't watch it or who don't care to watch it and that's fine that's perfectly fine it's your um it's your choice your opinion now entering the mislaid triangle, watch out. Uh cool I guess. Yeah, to those of you who don't watch it but still watch me, thank you very much. To those who watch both, thank you very much. I feel like there's not enough thank yous I can say to the world to help 
to show you my gratitude or whatnot. And I know that, you know, a hundred people doesn't sound like a lot in the grand scheme of things. There are some people out there with over a thousand subscribers, over a hundred thousand subscribers, a million subscribers. But for somebody like me, who's just starting out, who's probably about six months into doing this. Holy shit, that's right. I'm, all, I'm like half a year into doing this. God damn, this time, this, uh, time fly by quickly. Yeah, for someone like me who's only done this like very recently within like a half a year, it, it's a lot. <laughs> it, it's, it's a lot. And I really wish I, I could show you my gratitude. And the way how I show that is by making more content that you people love. So hit that subscribe button if you guys like the content and want to watch more. Alright old man. Here are your fucking dentures or whatnot. Yeah, it's not the right one. So nice to have my dentures back once more. Your reward? With you, I'll share my secret to a long, long life. Gargle often, gargle proud, gargle strong. And if you catch a cold, gargling will help. Here's the mouthwash I concocted myself taking. Jesus Christ! How many mouthwashes are you giving it to me? May you live a long life. Jesus Christ, old man. I don't need this many mouthwashes. Mouthwash. Mouthwashes. What's the plural of mouthwash? Mouthwash I? Or is it just mouthwash? I have many bottles of mouthwash. Yeah, that sounds better. That, that, that sounds a lot more better. I honestly cannot wait for the summer because if I remember correctly I should have approximately a good two to three month break. I'm actually not sure. I'm, it has to be at least two months but the only reason why I say three months is because the last summer break I had was three months. But regardless I'm excited for the summer because that means that all of a sudden I have all this newfound time that I could be pumping out content for you guys and to some of you who might be wondering am I gonna finish the series and then upload like I used to do it probably not I actually think I actually think it might be better it might be in my best interest to do what I'm doing already um, create content or at least a record for record record and edit at the same time. There we go. Record video, uh, record video, edit, and then continue on. So that way I can keep I can I can keep you in the loop with what I'm thinking about, what's happening and whatnot, and just other general oddities and whatnot. I think it would be in my best interest. Also, just because I don't want to have. What I usually do is, um, as soon as I finish making a series and whatnot, I just kind of take a break, like two week break and whatnot. I think with the schedule that I already have, it'll, it'll, it, I'm stuttering for, for, for fuck's sakes. This is with the schedule that I already have, I'm going to be able to make content at a consistent base. One where I don't think that I'll be burned out or anything like that. Because let me tell you something, it was not the greatest, at least for me, when I haven't finished the game and I want to upload it because I'm just like, fuck, I, I, I want to do it like right away, you know? And the fact that I can do it with this one is, you know, it, it feels nice. It really does feel nice. Yes, it doesn't help with the fact that I already have a heavy school schedule, but I'm making it work, goddammit. And you know what? It's worked so far for the time being. It's only failed me once, 
but it won't fail me again. $48, Jesus. Well, at the very least, we get to see this kick-ass scene. Okay, I need to press the A button again. <laughs> also, I hope you guys don't mind that I used an epic train ride as the thumbnail for the last episode. I just thought this was an epic train ride. Man, like, even listen to the banger of this music. <laughs> like, how can you not like this? Honestly, how can you not like this? Also, god damn, this is a long ways to go. Hey, yo, can we stop over here? This is where Marysville is. Alright, fine then. Guess I'll have to stay in Union Station. Hey yo, what's good, Chief? It's a mess everywhere. At all costs, I will protect the station. Eh, hey, that's good to hear, Chief. Anyways, if you're wondering why I'm back here in Union Station, I actually have to go do something in my house really quickly, so this might take a bit of a while. Not only that, but all that talking and all that ranting I swear it always looks like there's something there um, it's actually making my <laughs> my head hurt a little bit I think I should really start to drink more water because there's no reason for why my head should be hurting right now I've done recordings like this plentiful of times before and it's a maniac truck now what buddy fuck you yeah, yeah. Honestly, after playing so many RPGs that just allow you to fast travel and whatnot, like Persona 5, having to walk all the way- God damn it! Like, you see there? Fucking random encounter! Having to walk all the way from one area of the map to the other is just absolutely painful. Honestly. The amount of time that I have to waste going around town is- just way too high. And that's not even to get into the fact that there's random encounters. Alright, I got I got what I needed to get. And I'm back here again in Union Station. And you know the drill. We gotta watch the epic train ride. Yeah let's go! <laughs> I don't know what it's about, it's just, this looks so cool. This is like, this isn't something I'd expect to see in an 8-bit Famicom game. Like, even if this was like a Super Nintendo like game, this would still look cool in my opinion. But, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> there's just, there's just something about this train. And I mean, like, you guys can agree with me on this, right? I'm not the only one who thinks that this is, looks like a cool epic train ride. Alright, so... Here we go. We should be arriving in Spookane right n about now. No one's here! Interesting. No, thank you. All right. Where are we at? I mean, of course we're in Spookane. But if you're wondering what I got, I ended up getting the Franklin badge because I was reading this guide and it did tell me I needed to be wary of something. Something up and coming. Alright, so two things. One, I hope you guys cannot hear the dog that's barking outside. 
This is one reason why I hate recording here. But another is that I had to go to this spooky hotel. 18 for a night? Yeah, I'll do 18 for a night. Yep, this is the guy. And oh my god, I just realized something. Wrong one. Wrong one! I accidentally forgot to equip these. What, can I not equip them? Goods. Use. Okay, I guess... I guess this thing is just a glorified... I guess this thing is just a glorified mirror or something like that? I don't know, I tried to equip it! It's not letting me equip it! Oh well. Hopefully this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I value defense up at the moment, not gonna lie. Uh, Lloyd, you can use one of your... You can use your... Can you use your sticky machine? I don't think he'll be able to, but we could try. Alright, what do you got here? What do you got here? Oh, shit. Uh, there we go. Yes! Let's bring up this defense! Let's go! Alright, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna offense up Ana just because I know she's gonna need it. Uh, goods. Let's use the plasma beam on him. You know what, Anna? Uh, keep doing what, keep doing what you're doing. PK beam on this star man. Holy shit! Holy! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! I just. Destroy this man. Is there anything here that I need to look for? Okay. Nice, I guess. Wait a minute, not nice. How am I supposed to save? Fuck. No, shit. I, I didn't mean to go down. Oh, God. All right, don't worry, don't worry. I got this, I got this. I got this. Don't worry. Really? Really? 32 health points, exactly. What a travesty. Dude, I, I, I want to go up. Please. D don't keep me in this endless cycle of non-stop random encounters. I just want to go up. What the fuck? Why does an eagle get to do that? Why does an honor kill the eagle? What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. All right. You, you, you know you know what? The fact that the fact that I already had like a gajillion random encounters just coming to the stupid station. It just no. No. I'm not doing this. Not doing this. 
My head hurts. It's almost 11. I have to release this episode tomorrow. Shit! I f forgot. Um, you didn't hear that. Alright, you know what? I am just gonna go back to Reindeer. And there's gotta be a hotel somewhere that will accept me. And of course, the epic train ride. Can't forget about this. Thank you very much, my good sir. Fuck! Please, I just want to go home. Oh shit! I'm gonna learn new PSI. The fuck is super healing? The why? You're kidding me here. Stupid maniac truck. There's no reason to be here whatsoever. Okay. I was getting visibly upset that I could not find a hotel. Or although to be fair, I just remembered that I technically didn't need a hotel. I needed a department store for the phone, but you know what? Whatever, this works. Um yeah, this might have not been the most interesting episode I'll give you that I'm tr I'm still trying here don't don't get me wrong but yeah it's getting late I need to edit and I also really want to go to sleep so my name is pixel love if you like the video please leave a like comment and subscribe any kind of support would be very much helpful and it would mean the world to me. Memento Mori and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.